Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a common trouble code that can throw your transmission into disarray, the P0702. This code indicates an electrical problem within the transmission control system. But fear not, before you resign yourself to a hefty repair bill, let's explore some ways you might be able to fix it yourself. The P0702 code signifies a malfunction in the electrical side of your transmission's control system. This can involve several components, including sensors, solenoids, and the transmission control module TCM. Symptoms you might experience include rough shifting, delayed gear changes, and even a complete lack of shifting. To confirm the P0702 code, you'll need an OBGI scanner. Simply plug it into your car's diagnostic port, which is usually located under the dashboard. Once connected, turn on the ignition, but don't start the engine. Navigate through the scanner's menu to read the codes. As you can see, our scanner has detected the P0702 code. Now that we've confirmed the issue, let's move on to diagnosing the root cause. There are a few steps we need to follow to diagnose and fix this issue. Let's start by checking the transmission fluid level and condition. Check the transmission fluid. Low or dirty transmission fluid can cause various transmission issues, including triggering the P0702 code. Ensure the fluid level is correct and that the fluid is clean. If it's low, top it up. If it's dirty, consider a transmission fluid change. Inspect the wiring and connectors. Look for any damaged wires, loose connections, or corrosion around the transmission control module and sensors. Electrical issues are a common cause of the P0702 code. Test the transmission control module. If the wiring looks good, the TCM might be at fault. Using a multimeter, check for proper voltage and continuity. If the TCM is faulty, it may need to be replaced. Perform a mechanical inspection. If everything else checks out, the issue might be mechanical. Look for signs of wear or damage in the transmission. In some cases, internal components like solenoids or clutch packs may need to be repaired or replaced. Once you've gone through these steps, clear the code with your OBDI scanner and take the car for a test drive. If the P0702 code doesn't return, congratulations, you've fixed the problem. If it does, further diagnostics may be required, and it might be time to consult a professional mechanic. And that's how you fix the P0702 code. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more car repair tips and tutorials. Drive safe and see you next time.